So a bit of news out for Super Rugby Season 2018, kind of unofficially official at this point. Um, All Blacks players will be withdrawn from their Super Rugby teams during the season to attend All Blacks training camps. If that sounds kind of familiar to you, uh, and you're as old as I am, you'll remember the reconditioning camps that the All Blacks players went on uh, during the 2007 Super Rugby campaign, getting ready for the uh, 2007 World Cup. So basically they withdrew players from the Super Rugby teams. They didn't play in the games. Uh, they rested for about, I think, half the season. Kind of did their thing as a as an All Blacks group to to basically get in peak condition for for the World Cup. What ended up happening um, was a lot of players being underdone that season. Uh, New Zealand teams didn't do particularly well. Both got knocked out in the semi-finals to South African teams. Um, now I, d- I did a bit of rereading before before coming on here, and uh, yeah, th- there were talks in Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand before Super Rugby season about whether or not they should rest players. South Africa decided not to go with resting players. They ended up having two teams in the Super Rugby Final and winning the World Cup in 2007. Uh, That's not to say that everything is connected down to one set of um, training camps, but uh, even Graham Henry said um, after his reappointment to the the All Blacks job uh, when he would lead them on to the 2011 campaign, basically that the reconditioning was a failure, it was a mistake and didn't work. So interesting that the training camps, not reconditioning camps, training camps have have come in to the news once again. Supposedly these ones are different in that players will still be able to play uh, for their Super Rugby team, but uh, for several days in the lead up to a game, they'll be unavailable for their Super Rugby team. They'll be off with the All Blacks. Which is not ideal if you're a coach. I mean, if you're if you're Tana Umanga and you're playing uh, a game down in Christchurch next week, and you think maybe that you've spotted some chink in the Crusaders' armor, and you want to get your guys ready to to act out your game plan, well, good luck because you're going to have to pretty much get them all up to speed in the day before the game because they're not going to be available to you or your all your top players anyway. So. Yeah, it's not the best look um, for for Super Rugby, and it is a bizarre one, um, given that the general consensus was that it didn't work the last time they tried it. So, I mean, they've they've said it's going to be some time devoted to skills training and other just general camps, Um, and of course, yeah, the New Zealand coaches will all kind of toe the line, and um, they haven't really got much choice, but... um, uh, Chris Boyd is the man to watch because he's leaving for the he's leaving the Hurricanes at the end of the season, so he'll be the one man who doesn't feel um, that he's compelled to to toe the NZRU line. So he's already come out and said that he's not in favour of it. So I mean that makes sense. You, you want your best players available to um, to prep for games. It's just it's better for the competition. And I mean they mentioned. Uh, in the in the news that in that 2007 season viewing numbers for Super Rugby dropped pretty dramatically uh, by not having those top players available. This might not be so obvious in that um, the players will still be available on match day, um, but I, I think the public is generally not that stupid that they won't know that there's some meddling going on, and it's just not a good look. It's, it's devaluing Super Rugby. Um, and in a time where global sports generally in some areas are, are kind of struggling for attendance and Super Rugby having come out of the pretty, uh, well, less than stellar uh, 2017 season in terms of um, fan interaction, um, it's, it's not the thing we need right now. But we'll see what the official news is when it comes out. Like I said... Um, it's been talked about, but not really officially announced, but um, everyone seems to know what's happening. So we'll see what the official story is. 
but like I say it's um it's not the best look all right that's it from me and I'll catch you guys later